This is a Clean Virginia Waterways of Longwood University video of how to use a Garmin GPS unit to measure the distance between two waypoints. This is for balloon litter uh, uh, monitoring projects along the mid-Atlantic coast. Hopefully this will be useful. So once you have a unit, um, if you go to mark waypoint at your very first location and hit this little button at the top, um, it will give you a flagged point with a, a numeric um, starting at one and you can often times you may want to enter in either as a note or next to the number one that this is your starting point. Um, normally I would do that but in the interest of time we'll skip that and then once you've made a little note what their starting point is either hit done or we're just going to go ahead and hit map. Just take us to a map screen and then hit, hit it one more time go. Okay, and then you can see here, there is um, a couple things on the screen. One, you've got a little flag, and that's our um, first waypoint. Um, underneath there, um, kind of hiding, is a blue triangle, and that is you. And if you stare at that, it'll actually drift the around the point just a tad, because there's satellites up in the air pinging your location. Uh, especially if we were like close to some trees, we'd probably be drifting quite a bit more. Uh, so a little bit of error in these units up to two to three meters, which is about eight or nine feet. Um, and that's just uh, an acceptable amount of error if we're measuring a mile distance. And then the third feature you'll see here is the little cursor. And you can see I can run this cursor um, in any direction I like from the waypoint and it'll measure my distance right there. Now we're not quite sure what direction um, our location is. In this case, we're aiming for that blue recycling bin. So we're just going to walk over there and then we'll be able to see the track as we walk. And we're going to measure it using a measuring wheel. So I'm actually not going to look at the GPS so that I don't fall <laughs> as I walk, even though that makes for funny videos too. And we're going to make our way to this recycling bin. We're going to stop and then look at how far we went, which is 48 feet. Okay, and we're gonna drop a second waypoint here, okay? Um, so to do that, you just hit back from the map. And... Hit mark waypoint again. And we're gonna get a number two. And again, you would put end point here. Um, if this is your end point. And now you can see um, Waypoint one and waypoint two. Now here's the neat little trick. Um, so now that we've got a track between the two, you can simply take your cursor and move it from two, which is where you're standing, to number one. And try and get it right at the base of there. Okay, and it's showing 48 feet. I've already forgotten. What do we show? Hey, 48 feet. That's really good. Um, like I said, if you get 52 feet or 54 feet or 46 feet, that's that's close enough. Now, clearly you're gonna be going more than 48 feet. You're gonna be going a mile. So as you walk, what you can do is just keep your cursor on that beginning point and watch my distance. I'm walking somewhere else now. And you can see as the feet go up, as we get further and further away. So I'm not gonna walk the full mile but you can see the little blue dot or blue triangle moving. Um, if you need to make more room on your screen, uh, the arrow keys allow you to zoom in and zoom out. Never can remember which one is which. Zoom out looks like it's the up key. Zooming in is the down key. Um, and so just by having that first point and um, putting your cursor on it, you can then measure distance. Okay, I hope this uh, video is all you need. Uh, if we think of anything else, we'll post additional videos. Thank you very much.